What's poppin' Ellen L. Gang? Leanna, you're sick. Let's let's hear your sick voice, baby. You're gonna have to talk anyway, so I don't even know why you're doing this. I see you, I see you, seeing me. Tell me what you're seeing me. Every time you call. So this corny video is about <laughs> how we fell in love, or how we knew we were or in love. Or how we knew. Okay, so before we start, let me tell y'all how fast lesbians fall in love. <laughs> First day, you guys are in love. Second day, planning the fucking marriage. Third day, picking out kids' names. Exactly. Fourth day, are we moving in yet? Because I think <laughs> we are perfect for each other. So this is um about how we knew we were in love with each other, and also. Just like explaining like things that we went through like in like our past and stuff and just like how much of a blessing it is to be together. Especially like with her. It's just like really amazing. I know you guys see that there's like this little thing in my hand but I will show you guys what that is later. But we're going to talk about like how we knew we were in love. Okay. You want to see results. Shut up! <laughs> Okay, do you want to go first? You go first! Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, scissors. scissors, shoot. Boom. Okay, whatever. Um, so... <sighs> Nervous? so cute. Okay. Um, basically, like, dealing with people before Leanna is never 50-50, and it was always just a game of emotions. Like, it would either be like, oh, we mess with each other this second, or... Oh, you know, we're just like so in love, like this, this, and that. Like, it was we were never on the same page. To finally be on the same page as somebody, and for them to be obsessed with me as much as I am obsessed with her. You know what I mean? It's just like it's just great to have somebody that um, we just have mutual feelings. I was finding myself before me and her got together, and I've gone through like a lot of heartbreak on my end. Some things just didn't work out. I feel like. I can't be mad at the process because we just weren't meant to be together, you know? If that didn't happen, then I wouldn't be with her. It's just so amazing, like, how things work out. It can seem, like, really bad around that moment, but it's just, like, you never know what's going to be in your future and just how bright your future is going to be. And I used, to, I used to tell her this, like, when we first said I love you, yes, are you crying? crying? <laughs> you stupid. So when we first got together, I told her, like, I used to cry at night wishing that I had somebody and that was basically you. <laughs> I'm serious. I really just wanted somebody to be with. Just this relationship that we have is just like so like yeah. genuine and just like so special to me. So like I'm just really happy. So <laughs> you nervous? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> So, you can go. <laughs> she, okay, I'm so sorry. I put her on the spot. She's very shy when it comes to this. And I'm, I'm an open person. But it's just like, if anybody were to ask me, what do you want to, oh. If anybody were to ask me, I'd be like, oh, this, this, and that. And Leanna would just start blushing, like, off tops. But I put her on the spot. I need to tell her what we're going to record today. So, yeah. Okay, you want this to be two or two? What's the question? The question is... <laughs> the question is... Like, you know, like our journey. Like, to get here. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> well, in this one... I mean, back then, I thought I was, you know, in love sometimes. Mm -hmm. But... I felt like I was just going with the flow because that was what everybody was saying. Like, you know, like, I felt like once when that person told me that I felt that I had to say it back. Because mm -hmm. I was a nice person and I didn't want to be like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? I've done that before too. But, heartbreaks, I never went through. But it all became clear. Like, I actually knew the definition of love when me and you got together. Mm hmm and <laughs> it is you know you just change 
like that the day when I texted you, we was talking, and then I texted you. I said, "What's my birthday?" Oh yeah. And she just told me off the bat, like thirty seconds later, she texted me the answer back, and it just like made me smile because the people that I would, I'd be like, "What's my middle name?" or "What's like we we'll, would we'll be together for two, three, six months." I'd be yeah. like, "What's my middle name?" or "What's my birthday?" Uh, like you know. Mm -hmm. But you. Cause I and yeah. also yeah, cause I took the time to get to know her. That's what she always says. Like, you took the time to get to know me, and not a lot of people were trying to get to know me. They just wanted me just to be with me. Mm. <clears throat> but you, you, you get took, nervous, baby. Yeah, <laughs> you took your time with me. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I was not looking for a relationship at the time. So me neither. I didn't plan on falling in love or being with you for two long years. Honestly, and, the, and we're being so real because at that point in time, I just felt like there was like a lot of things going on, you know, like with breakups, trying to talk to new people, trying to get like back out there after um, heartbreak and all that stuff. And it's just like, when you don't want to search for something, that shit comes. I really saw a future in her and I never really saw that in people. And I will say it just to say it, sorry, but you know what I mean? I'm being 100 with you. Like, I'm just so happy that, you know, we found each other. How we knew we were in love. Um, you give your story. How you knew you was in love with me. Okay, so was that yours? Cause I knew your birthday. That wasn't you know, it. The way I, how I knew I was in love with you is because it's like, like you said, we was every day. The first day we hung out, we never stopped hanging out. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, like, boo, I, like we would just sit in the car until like three, four in the morning, and then we'll just talk about like deep stuff, yeah. like both of our grandmas, and then yeah. like you know, like everything, and then. It, it's like everything that you went through, I went through, or it was just like we had similarities. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's like, fuck, like, I felt like you're the best friend I never had. And then I ended up falling with my best friend. That's so fucking cute. Oh, my God. How I knew I was in love. I just knew it was the right person for me. And I wasn't sitting at home crying, you know, like. Because you could tell, like, in the beginning, people's intentions for you. Okay, I'm temporary. But it's just, like, I always wanted more. The little things. Never told you this. When you used to wake me up and say, good morning, beautiful, with the, um, rose. She got those. She always did that. She always would do that. And it would be very consistent. <laughs> I didn't spend the night over your house the first day. <laughs> but listen. She spent the night over my house the first day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, when I spent the night, I was like, oh my god, I have to go home, like, I have to go home. Um, it was like, it, wasn't it was even, late, it yeah. wasn't spending the night, it was like at 12. No, it was, I would say it's like at 2 in the morning, 1, 2 in the morning. But it started off 12, and I was like, okay, I gotta go. And then it was like 1, but basically like, stuff like that. As soon as I woke up, and I'm just like, oh my god, I have to go to school, it kind of just like, I don't want to go. It's like we just got together, you yeah. know? So, just little things like that. Like, we just saw each other and it's like, I miss you. All of that was genuine. I never really had that and felt like, okay, this is the connection that I want and need because they will show their true colors after a few days. Mm. Leanna was very consistent, you know, and I was consistent too because we both knew what we wanted. So... And then not only that, it's just all how also I knew it's just, I never wanted to change for anybody. Like, she was a player. My ways, I never shut up. I never say that, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. But she she knew about my past when we had the long talks, and yeah, she still she still opened her heart to me, <clears throat> gave me her heart, so I could fall in love. So that's another reason why. Being upfront with everything, you're letting them know exactly what you went through, how you deal with certain things, things that can take you off because what other people did and try to like heal and mend that so you don't feel that anymore, you know? So, the first time that we said I love you, um, we were outside, you can tell it too. We were outside and we were sitting down, she's getting nervous so she's gonna put on my hands. Um, we were outside sitting down and um, she was like, I have to tell you something. I said what? 
She was like, I know you've seen the scar on my neck. And I was like, I was like, what scar? And all honesty, I haven't seen anything. And then she was just like, she showed me and I was like, oh, honestly, like I never saw it. So she got into detail about her surgery. Also, you guys, when Leanna is ready to share that, she will, you know. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to just tell you guys like what happened that time. But it was really, really emotional too. I'm going to try not to cry no more. But um, so basically, we talked about it and it was just like something that I could relate to. And it just touched my heart. The first thing that I told her, I was just like, you are very strong. And for you to have gone through that, that just shows that you're just like this really strong person and that should just not be something that you should ever just be insecure about. I'm crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Um You wanna talk? So then, like, we just talked about it, and, um, we, <laughs> maybe, we just talked about it, and I just told her, like, it just means a lot to me that she told me that, and she kind of just looked at me like, you don't even treat me any different, or just, like, you know, feel, you know, like, embarrassed. You don't want to talk about that, just talk about it. I have finished telling her that. And I realized she didn't have a reaction to it. It is like all the nights we was talking in a car and all of this stuff. It's like, dang, like, I love this girl. And then that's when I said, I love you. No, you, <laughs> she said, so we had like, oh, oh my God, hold on. Okay. So, like, whenever like someone were to like comment or something it's just like i told her to remember the things that i told her when i first when we like first talked about it and what was it that you were strong and that means that you're really brave to go through that and you know i like to tell the story yes yes baby mom yes okay so um we're gonna start laughing because this is kind of funny this, these, it was like this little skit thing. It was just like something, something, you know, cupcaking on the phone. Blah, 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 I love you. And then the next person on the line was like, huh? <laughs> and then they were like, um, no, nah, never mind. Just, you know, forget that. So I'm just crying, laughing at that. And Leanna's looking at her phone like this. <laughs> I said, do you love me? <laughs> and then she said, she was like, yes. I was like, I love you. So then we just kept on crying and stuff. We kept on crying. And then we just sat outside. And then, uh, remember that little video you were made right after? My, make my, ma my makeup was all messed up. But that was that. At that moment, how did I meet somebody that I can relate to so fast? Not even just that, but just like, Everything that we talked about in the car. Are you crying? No. You're not crying. Okay. So, um, on our one month, I wrote this. It says, Leanna and Nicole Baggio. And then it says, all started on August 27, 2016. That's... Jesus. She wrote out 27 reasons why she... I'm her. not going to read them all. I'll read number one. And then, because that one's kind of funny, and I'll read the last two. Okay, so it says, yeah, 27, wait, it says 27 reasons why I fell in love with you. Um, so the first one, it says, as soon as you told me that you wanted to take me on a date, I said, hell yeah, and we started texting. Which is funny because you guys, she did not take me on a date <laughs> till like, till like two, years. two years, basically like the beginning of this year, head ass. And then um, the last two, 
the look that you get when I tell you that I love you. Love you. <laughs> and then, um, wait. Yeah, yeah. And it says your presence and your smile that you have right now when reading this. I love you. <laughs> and I was with her. And as soon as she read the last one, she started smiling. And I just thought that was so cute. And then tell them what cute thing we did right after this. What we do? <laughs> Where did we go? She not only did she give me this, she gave me a bag of candy. Mhm. Mm and then we went to go and try to find a place to park so we could have sex. <laughs> no, we did it. <laughs> yes, we did. No, before that, we went to Cost Junior because we went to go get some cookies. Oh yeah, we have these little special cookies at Cost yeah. Junior, but they don't sell them anymore. And I'm so mad. It's the cookie dough ones, but. <sighs> I did not expect that to get emotional. Oh my god, babe. But yeah. If you guys want to read this. Um, if you guys want to read all of it. Yes, you do. No. It's kind of cute. I'll take pictures of it and I'll put it on, the, on our Instagram. Our joint Instagram. It's hella corny. But, um, yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Crazy asses. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. I'll fight for what I want. I'll fight a bitch for what I want. The fuck? Okay. <laughs> Alright, LNL gang. See you in the next video. Love you guys. Oh, Fenty. Say bye, mommies. Come Say here. bye, mommies. Come here. Say bye, mama. Say bye. Say bye, mamas. Say LNL gang. We out.